means sports leader. Here's this week's high school football huddle. Good evening, everyone, along with my partner, Kira Grogan. I'm Carmine Jimé, and this is the high school football huddle. It's back again, the first week of high school football, but it's week zero. Kira, can you please help me out with these numbers here? You've got it, Carmine. Well, Carmine, in week zero, all the 4A games count. The okay. other classes are playing exhibitions. Okay. And we have interclass and interstate games that count toward the team's overall records, but not okay. their playoff seeding. Okay. Then a week from today, all the games count, and we'll have a packed show. Okay, I got it. Thanks, Kira. You know more about this stuff than me, but I do know one thing. You were live at Natrona County High School before the defending state champs hosted Cheyenne South. That's right, Carmine. And before the game, I caught up with head coach of NC, Steve Harshman. I think the main thing, we just want to really play with a lot of energy and fly around and then, and just keep getting better. You know, these first couple weeks, guys really improve a lot and and um, we're pretty young in a lot of spots. So it'd be a great opportunity for us to just continue to get better and better. The past two years, NC has beaten South 62-0 and 59-0. Well, tonight, South, of course, was looking to change that up on NC's turf. First play from the scrimmage is a play action. NC junior and quarterback Harrison Taubert with the look downfield to find Cooper Quigg, who's one of four All-State players returning for NC this year. Rumbles 65 yards down to the one, and senior Dante Wallace finishes from there to get a score up on the board for Natrona County at the start of the game. And that same Dante Wallace, 23 rushing touchdowns last year, goes Ooh. 46 yards here and is taken down at that three-yard line. He had the most rushing touchdowns in 4A last year, and he'll score on the next play, making that two touchdowns <laughs> in just four plays for NC. Pretty efficient. And then South sees opportunity to score on NC for the first time in three years. Junior Jaden Cummins finds the ball and sneaks in over the line, putting themselves up on the board at the end of the first quarter. They were excited about that. Then in the second quarter, safety Wilkes Jackson makes a huge play here. He jumps up for the interception, grabs the ball, pulls it down, and he'll take it all the way back, weaving Ooh. in and out of defenders. He returns it for another touchdown for the Mustangs. This is actually an improvement for Cheyenne South from the last two years, but they fell again to NC tonight, 68-12. to So a great game from NC's All-State running back, like you mentioned, Kira Dante Wallace. And I like to call Dante Wallace Dante's Inferno because naturally he torches the defense. Right. But I got a nice compliment today for the nickname from his grandmother he on did. Facebook. So thanks to Ann for that and a nice win for them. How happy did that make you feel? You My oh. heart was like, it was throbbing. It was but let's get back to some football here. Yes, Come on. Yes. All right. Three so we focus. had a great game of the week to start off the season. You're right, Kira. That's enough pumping in my tires. Let's get back to the games. The game of the week is the only 4A ranked matchup. Number five, Rock Springs, has new head coach Mark Leonard from Torrington. They played at number three, Sheridan, tonight. And Sheridan finished runner-up to NC last year. But before that, they won three state titles in a row, the last two over the Mustangs. Tonight, they beat, the Bronx beat Rock Springs 23-7. to So have you seen number one, number three, number five? How about number two? Okay, Kira, we've established you're the math expert on the show. We know that. <laughs> That's right. Number two, Thunder Basin hosting unranked Cheyenne Central tonight. Last year, the Bolts lost to Sheridan in the state semifinals. Tonight, they got a huge win over Central, 44 to nothing. So logically, the team is number four, Cheyenne East. They lost in the other state semifinal to mm -hmm. Natrona County last year. Tonight, yep. they beat Campbell County, 41 to seven. Yeah, the Camels are struggling. Still looking for their first win in their third season after the Gillette High School split up. They're 0-19 since Thunder Basin was created. And you definitely see most of those football players choosing to play for the Bolts. But the Camels could have a new beginning. They have a new head coach, Andrew Rose. And Kelly Walsh, as you know, Kira, also has a new head coach. Very nice guy, Aaron McKelkey. In our final 4A game, the Trojans played at Laramie, but they did not get the job done. They lost by seven to the Plainsmen. And so Laramie won that close one. That could be for the fifth spot in next week's poll. All right, and for seven years before this season, McKelkey coached at Big Piney in an interclass matchup against last year's 1A runner-up Cokeville. The Punchers lost 21-14. to And in an afternoon game, the Rollins Outlaws visited the Lyman Eagles and won 33-2. to And in our final interclass game tonight, 1A Tongue River played at the number three ranked team in 2A Gray Bowl. So good for them for taking that yeah. tough game. And they're actually up 6 nothing at halftime. And those are all the scores we have from our interclass games tonight. After the break, we'll have all the interstate scores, and we'll also have highlights and reaction from Powell Football's first game without their seriously injured quarterback, Ethan Asher. That's all next 
on the high school football huddle.